Hello, welcome to Provis Gaming. In the last episode, we liberated Salernum from the hands of the Samnites. And now, I'm not entirely sure what to do. I took a couple days off to get up to date with the, uh, up to date with uh, uploading this stuff onto YouTube, and then uh, I'm not really sure what, what to do now. I think I'm supposed to take Buxentum. Bu Buxentum? Bux? I don't know. I want to travel by water, but one, there's this army, which kind of worries me. Two, I'm not sure how to do it. Honestly, maybe. Speak your mind. I mean, it says I can move. So okay, what the heck? Let's try. Let's try it. We oh, they get into a boat. Awesome. Waiting for a new course. I think I have to attack these. Let's do it. Attack. For death and honor. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be a sea battles. Awesome. Oh, this is this is definitely new. Okay. The thunderbolts of Tinia. That's what they call themselves. Really? Okay. Whatever. So, we have their general, spearmen, a couple peasants, some skirmishers. These are probably a threat. All right, we're going to fight this battle on the battlefield. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never seen this before. This is going to be awesome. Fleet battles. You know, I was always thinking that they really need to add that into uh, Rome Total War 1. I'm very glad they did that with number 2. Very, very glad. Do I, do I move stuff into the ocean here? Is that what's happening? I think this is the setup, like, you know how you have to choose where your battlefield is going to be and stuff? I think this is probably the same thing. I have to choose where my ships are going to start off and then we fight. I'll bet you that's it. Oh, that would make sense. Oh, maybe not. Alright, as the attacking force choose to wait, uh, it's nice dry conditions. I think we're going to start deployment. Oh, this is sick! This is sick! Love it! Okay. I wonder what has to really change from our typical strategy. I think we need to have the range units to the sides. Because my hope is that they go charging down the center and I have to keep, you know, get my swordsmen in place to, like, do boarding parties and these guys can sit on the sides and rain death from the... from their flank. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. So, okay. So what we're gonna do... Man, I've never seen this before. Okay. I'm gonna put you toward the center for just... Rallying purposes. Um, Ships ready. I, I have no idea how the strategy works in this because I've never seen it before. This is going to be great. Uh, shoot. All right. We're going to say these are our ready and the Over. first wave that are going to go straight down the center. Right? And then we're going to have these three are the right flank. Right? And then these four are the left flank. The general will have to just go down the center. Yeah. I've never done this before. This could go horribly wrong. We're going to find out. Okay, here we go. Go! Sharp, my soldiers. Another chance to win glory against our enemy beckons. Raise a cheer, men. Oops, did I not get these number? No, I did four for some reason. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we have an inspiring speech going on down here. Okay. Wow, look at the ships! These are awesome! These actually do look a lot like old uh, Trireme's like, Greek and Roman style early ships. Usually a ton of slaves down here rowing, but we're gonna see. Alright, so they're moving toward me, right? No, they're not moving at all. Uh-oh. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you to go after that, you to go after that, you to hit the general, right? Want you to get them. Just telling them to go after some specific ships. I'm hoping that superior maneuvering will be enough to win this. Hoping. Oh gosh, I've never seen this before. This is so weird. Okay. Second wind. Target a friendly unit to remove any fatigue that they might have. Really? That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, here comes their first ship. Alright. Let's see how this works. They crash into each other? Is this ramming speed or... Use the whip. Improve attack and fatigue resistance for a short time. Really? Oh! 
This is like bumper cars. They're just sort of bouncing off. Oh, look at them jump up into the water. <laughs> I think I sunk it by smacking it. Maybe? In service of Rome. Maybe. I don't know. This is weird. I've never seen this before. Oh, shoot. Dude, you are in serious trouble. Come on. Crash them in the side. Oh, there we go. Smack. Oh, no, they're on fire. Shoot. Can I remove that effect? I don't think so. I think these guys are dead, honestly. Oh, oh, oh. No, they're jumping off into the side. They're so dead. Definitely dead. Okay. Range units definitely have to be the most important Transport stuff here, then. So we're going to have to deal with these. Ready and Ready for order. Okay, they're just sort of sitting here staring at each other, getting shot at. That's not good. I'm not happy with that. I, am ready. I don't know what I'm doing! No! Some speed from them. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys... Oh, shoot! They actually did get into the ship! Crap! I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> I'm gonna get them all killed. This is terrible. Oh no. Oh no! Well, I did a little damage there. Shoot, this is so bad. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. This is bad. This is very bad. Not doing well. I don't feel like I'm doing well at all. Ooh. Got him right in the nose there. I guess I'm just going to have to let it play out, because maybe I should have let the computer do this, honestly, because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Hit him on the side. Get him in the flank. You. No, not you. You need to go over here. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Okay, they're retreating. Let the runners go, man. There we go. They will carry news of their defeat back to them. The enemy is broken. It was a close victory, though, which means I didn't do very well. But I won, so that's important. I lost almost 500 men, and they lost almost 850. Youch! All right, I'm gonna enslave the captives for the economic powerhouse. Waiting for a new course. Yes. Silanus, some Lucanian ships have raised the banner of Rome and stand ready to assist in the assault on Buxentum. Enlist their support. Some Lucanian ships have raised the banner of Rome and stand ready to assist. Enlist their support. Ready for orders. How do I do that? It is an honor to I guess I move them Rome. here. Yes? Yes. I don't think I have the time to do so, though. Uh... What happened? What happened? I think I crashed? What did I do? Uh oh. Yeah, I think I crashed. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so I crashed the game somehow. Um, this time I did the auto resolve to deal with these guys, and I actually walked away with a lot more units, so uh, I'm gonna have to learn how to do fleet battles, because apparently I botched that up. But I've got a lot more people now, so that worked out well. And, uh, apparently, a ship from Rome did not appear, which makes me think that what happened is I lost too many people, and they decided for the sake of the prologue they'd give me some more units before I go on to Buxentum. So, uh, <laughs> just goes to show how badly I sucked. Alright, we got a new skill. What are we gonna do? More authority, zeal, plus two cunning when the genery, uh, sorry, general... And increased map campaign movement. That's nice. Or cunning when admirable and movement. I'm going to go with tactician because the extra cunning and campaign movement is nice. I still don't know what the difference is. They have not explained that at all. But I'm going to assume plus two cunning is still pretty useful. So we'll go with that. All right, he's a tactician now. Hopefully that means he's really good at... Uh, uh, auto-resolve stuff if I have to. That might be nice. That might be nice entirely. Alright, we're gonna end our turn. Oh no! I wasn't expecting an attack at Salernum. That's not good. Okay. I could fight this battle. Let's see. I've got some Leves. 
Rorarii and some plebs. Also, well, it looks like I got a couple other garrisons in the fleet. That's nice. Could I auto resolve this? Let's try auto resolving. They've got more slingers, but I'm going to go with a protective stance. Uh oh. A close victory. I think I still won. I'm going to kill them this time. Say, do not attack me or I will destroy your units. And he's retreating. Okay. Well, that's good at least. I was kind of worried about that. Your orders? Solanus, oh. Some Lucanian ships have raised the banner of Rome. Never mind. So There's the ship. And the assault on Buxenton. Enlist their support. Okie doke. So I need to click on you and merge here. Ready for Excellent. Orders. With proper fighting ships, we can launch an invasion from the sea where we please. Proper fighting ships? What kind of ships do I have? All right, we're going to click that. Where's the end? There's the end turn. Okay, I was freaking out for a second there. I'm it like, no, you can't do that. Rome. All right, now we're going to attack properly, apparently. Uh, Bucks and Tum. Here we go. One more fight before I end the video. Oh, gosh. They got, like, nothing? No, they've got a garrison. Okay. Good. Um, wow, I've got a lot of units. We're gonna say, fight the battle on the battlefield, because I want to see what this is like. <laughs> I've never seen naval stuff, so... Oh, I wonder if some of these have, like, ballista, like, on the ship or something, like siege weapons. Ooh, that would be really cool, actually. That'd be really, really cool. We'll see. We will see. This does mean I'm probably going to have to rush the beachhead. Kind of Normandy style. We'll see how they set up their units. It might be... This might be a lot of losses, but if I can take the town, then I think it's worth it. So, we'll find out. Villagers are apparently are very happy that uh, we're attacking. They say that the enemy has mounted few defenses facing the water. So, here we go. All right, dry conditions, that's good. We'll start the deployment. The enemy cower in the town inviting an attack. We will have to flush them out. Okay, so they're hiding in here. This is the probably the beach I want to get to. Maybe a little here as well and down here. And what about this? This is an option for a flanking opportunity. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, we'll see. Are these the only units I've got? I thought I had a lot more than this. Like, a ships lot more. What the heck? Ships ready for orders. Well, that's not good. I was sure I had a hell of a lot more. Assault okay. Well. Alright, we're going to go with that strategy, then. We're going to put one over here, Speed. the general in the middle. Over here, and then you need to come over here. Yeah? Okay. Ah, oh boy. I don't feel like this is right. I feel like I'm missing a lot. All right, three units. Here we go. Whoa, there's... We row into battle, men! The enemy go, go! Route to the shore. Send them to the seabed! Crap, crap. I didn't want them to send two ships after one thing. My ship is superior. It's a big, big ship, but I'm still going to try to get past them as fast as I can. We're going we're gonna to fling them down there. Hopefully I'm faster than they are. Oh, please crash. No, they didn't crash, but they are shooting fire at me. That's not good. At That's not fire. Overwhelm the enemy with missiles, board and engage their crews hand to hand, or ram their vessels and sink them. Oh, there's my reinforcements. Gee, what the heck? Whoa! Transport Freaking hell! <laughs> okay. Ram! Ram! Yes. Ram. The rest of you, go command. land your people. Ships ready. This is a lot more units ships than I was expecting. Um, <laughs> what news? Okay, Turn we're gonna head. You guys, this way. Ready ships waiting. Okay, okay, good enough for now. We've got our units on the ground. Our general by the looks of it. And who's this? The Principes. This is awesome! This really changes the entire dynamic of the game. Alright, now if they don't have a lot of units defending, I could rush... Uh-oh. 
I could rush after their control point. No, they have units. Okay. There they are. All right. We're going to have to hope that we can get these guys safe, get a couple of ships to ram these into hell, and then we'll be good. All right. So they're all going. So let's speed this up. All right. You guys need to get over here. Okay. They're changing their tactics. Looks like they're heading for my general. We're going to group up over by the Market Bazaar. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Man, I got a lot of ships. All right. Quickly, people, quickly! I want you to hit their general with range. I want you to crash their general. I want you nope, you're already going to crash it. Oh, shoot. Big ramming speed. Oh, it's a much bigger ship! Oh! <laughs> Much bigger ship. Ready. Ship's waiting. Oh, you can crash him from the side right now and destroy him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Big ship. Oh! <laughs> Crushed him. Sir, word has reached us that the enemy general is dead. Killed by Fantastic. our Fantastic. The enemy will surely panic without their leader. All right, get your speed going, guys. I need you to ram these guys, too. Where's, like, a ramming speed option? That's what I want. Oh, wait. Ramming and boring mode. Okay. Ooh. Give him a little, a little love tap there. Just a little love tap. All right, we're getting all our units back on the field. This is good. Very good. Lands, lands. I want you to ram. Is it on boarding mode? I think it's on boarding mode. I want them to ram it. Oh, don't you shoot arrows, fire arrows at me. No. No. Come on, do it again, do it again. There we go. That's what I want to see. Okay. Well done. Well done. We have destroyed them. Okay. Principal laws of momentum apply in this game. That makes me happy. That's a bit far, honestly, to have to go and land, but oh well. All right. Got a big sea invasion coming in. As soon as I can get all my units landed, we'll march on the capital. Or not the capital, the control point. I see two spears, swords, and slingers. Alright, we can handle that. Let's speed this up. Get them to land their units. And then we'll go ahead and start uh, putting this all together. What's this? Highlight all? Nah. What is this? It's a, that's a general. That's Gaius, but he doesn't have the general flag. So I've got someone else. This must be... Who's this? Naeus Bulbus. I guess he must be my admiral or something. Maybe you use a different, uh... Maybe you use admirals instead of generals for a fleet invasion like that. I don't know. Okay. So I think we got most of our units figured out. These guys are going to take too long, so I don't think I can wait for them. We're going to have to go for it. So, we've got our archers coming in. Good. Let's grab... These horses, or... They are horsemen, but they don't have their mounts. Okay, so I can't use that for sea invasions. Good to know. Very important to know. All right, we'll grab you, 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 you. Call you number one. We'll start marching this area of the city. Okay? We'll grab... Actually, move on this side of the city. Then we'll move these guys. You, 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 and you. Over two. March on this area of the city. Where's my other ranged unit? I thought I had two. Maybe I only have one. Okay. Move you back here as well. Okay? Okay. So now we're making our move. Here we go. This is so cool. Oh! I do have more units. Darn it! Alright. I guess you're gonna have to land over there as well. I knew I had more! I, I miss... I miscounted somehow. Okay. As soon as we capture this, we'll end the video, because this is about... we're about done. But I want to capture this city and see what happens. So, 
this is the hardest nut to crack, because I don't like charging after spearmen. They they have an advantage, I think, when it comes to defending a charging force. This is the easiest side to hit, no doubt. If I only had horsemen, I'd love to hit them from behind, but that's not, that's not an option. It's not an option. Alright, let's actually... Do I, did I not actually... Okay, well, apparently not. I'm actually going to set you guys to one. Until you go here. I'm going to set you guys to three. I'm going to tell you guys to go here. Okay, they're breaking up their forces. They actually have a little more than I thought they did. These guys are going to have to charge. They're going to have to go fast. You are going to have to hit their swordsmen. And you're going to have to go faster, please. Um, you guys need to hurry up. They're getting in position. They're going to start raining fire on me, and I can't really afford to deal with that right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go! Go! Charge! Okay, we're throwing a hell of a lot of spears at them, apparently. Uh, actually, we're not in a good position. These Equites might be in trouble, actually. They kind of get surrounded by spearmen there. Quickly! Quickly! Yeah, that unit's routing. I, I let him go too far forward. That was a bad idea. All right, go, go, go. Uh, where's my arch? Yeah, slingers, slingers. There you are. Get these guys. Go, go, go! Hit him from a flanking position right now, right now. No time to waste. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, come on! Alright, we're capturing the control point. Cause, uh, apparently we have unit... We don't have unit superiority right now, do we? Maybe we do. What's this? Use the whip? That doesn't seem useful. Go! Go, go, go! Oh, come on. We've got this. We've got this. Okay, they're starting to rout on that side. That's good. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. This is better. Now we're getting him in a pincer. I appear to be losing a lot of men, but that's okay. I don't mind. As long as I win, I'm okay. Okay. Looks like almost all of them are routing. Victory! Yes! My soldiers, you are the toast of Rome! Fantastic. Okay, now having no cavalry really messes up my strategy a lot. A decisive victory. That's good. That means it actually did all right. End the battle. Let's see what happens. I lost uh, 250 summit men, but I killed almost 850. So they lost about 1,000 out of that. So, grand. Fantastic. Are you going to walk into Buxentum now, or what? Alright, do I want to loot the city, it occupy the city, or raise it? I want to occupy. Looting will upset the townsfolk, but will swell Rome's treasury. Well, okay, hang on. Was Buxentum a Roman city, or a... Or a Samnite city to begin with? I don't remember. Um... Well, the thing is, it does cause a lot of provincial instability. All destructible buildings and settlement are destroyed. No money is taken. All captives killed. So this is basically like crucifying the entire city. Done that before. Slaughter the population. Loot them. You get lots of money, but you upset everybody. Enslave the captives. And then just occupy it. No money, but you don't upset a lot of people. I'm going to say occupy. The sea beckon. This army has moved all it can this Woo! season. It must a diligent man. Okay, so Bulbus has leveled up. Fantastic. The army has done it all it can for a season. That's good. Yes. Um, details. General. What's this? Uh, fides. My word is my bond. Ba backed by my sword. Religious building and moral for all units. Fine. I'm going to give you authority. Because I don't know what that does, but I'm sure it's good. So we're going to do that. If anyone can tell me what that is, please do. Do I want some levees? Yeah, I want some levees. Uh, where's my other units? Ready for orders. A 
got a lot more, don't I? All right, whatever. We'll have to live with that for now. All right, I think that's good enough for one episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We experienced naval combat and spades in this episode, which is awesome. And uh, next time, I, I don't know what we're going to do. We're either going to head toward Malventum or... I don't think we need to worry about things like Croton and Tarentum. So we'll probably head toward Malventum, assuming they don't do anything crazy next turn. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all.